peeps, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can achieve this Christmas Pennywise inspired makeup look. I have had this idea in my mind for what feels like two years now. I've really been wanting to do it and so finally I had the courage today to actually go for it. I always wanted to turn Pennywise into a Christmas look, especially with like antlers as the mouthpiece. But then whenever I was looking at it, I was gonna just leave it as antlers and I didn't feel like it was Christmassy enough, so I decided to add the Christmas lights, and I love how it turned out. I think it is so fun and so Christmassy, and definitely a fun little twist on a spooky character. This is part of my 12 Days of SFXmas series, and if you're new and you don't know what that is, for 12 days in the month of December, I'm uploading a new Christmas-themed makeup tutorial. This one, of course, I'm putting a twist on Pennywise, who isn't typically a Christmas character, but I turned him into one. So anyways, if you guys are interested in seeing how you can achieve this Christmas Pennywise-inspired makeup, look then just keep watching. Hey spoops, so to start off I'm going to be popping in my red contact lenses before going into my Fenty Skin sunscreen and applying this all over my face to help moisturize it before taking my Buckle Bunny Beauty Sheer Perfection Primer and applying this over my face as well. I'm then going to be taking my Ben Nye foundation in white and I'm going to be applying this all over my face. I personally prefer using this white foundation over white body paint because I do find that it does look a little bit more realistic and it blends better, especially when you use a foundation brush or sponge. This definitely just helps alleviate a lot of the streaks that you have to deal with when you use a white body paint. I'm then going to be taking my ColourPop concealer in white and I'm going to be applying this to the areas that I want to highlight or add a little bit more coverage before making sure to blend that out using my damp beauty sponge. And then to set my face, I'm actually going to be taking some baby powder and applying this with a large fluffy brush all over my face and neck. Next, we're going to be starting off by contouring our face a little bit. I'm going to be taking my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer and lightly contouring my cheekbones before going into a black eyeshadow and lightly contouring my cheekbones a little bit more before taking a fluffy brush to help blend this in. I'm then going to be taking my Smashbox 24 Hour Photo Finish Primer and applying this with my finger on it to my eyelids before going into my Be Perfect Carnival 3 Love Tahiti Palette, taking Blaze, and I'm going to be patting this on to the outer corner of my eyes. And as you can see, I have a little bit of black on that as well, which I actually like how that helps accent this look. I'm going to be bringing that down to my lower lash line too before going into Chili Pepper, and I'm going to be applying this on the outer corner and blending this into the crease as well, and this is going to help deepen the red color a little bit more. I'm then going to be taking my ColourPop Disney Mulan palette, taking Loyal, and I'm going to be patting this on to the center of my eyelid before hopping over to Defiant and applying this to the outer corner of my eye and blending this into my crease before actually blending this down to my lower lash line as well. I'm going to be going back into Loyal and really building up that red glitter on the center of my eye a little bit more too. I'm then going to be taking my BH Cosmetics Spotlight Highlight Palette, taking Ethereal, and I'm going to be using this to highlight my brow bone, and then I'm even going to be going into my Made You Look Body Paint in Cherry, and I'm going to be using this to create my little red Rudolph clown nose. I went ahead and created a base for my lips, so I took my ColourPop Hocus Pocus Come We Fly Lip Liner and outlined my lips before taking my Mulan ColourPop Strong Chi Luxe Liquid Lip and filling in my lips. I don't keep the red color, but I went ahead to do this just to kind of help me with the rest of the look. I'm then going to be taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Black Eyeliner and I'm going to be creating a wing on my upper lash line and applying this in a thin line to my lower lash line as well and creating tiny little fake eyelashes on the outer corner of my lower lash line. I'm then going to be taking my Made You Look Body Paint in Oak and I'm going to be starting on the antlers for my Rudolph smile. So I'm going to be taking the brown body paint and pulling up my smile and bringing this up my cheeks and right above my eyebrows in a little point before creating the little other side antlers on my cheekbones. I also went ahead and created some side antlers right above my eyebrow as well and helped extend it up. And then I decided for my lip, I'm actually going to create the base using my KVD Beauty Witches Liquid Lip and apply this to my lips. And then using a little tiny brush, I'm actually going to be extending that black liquid lip throughout the rest of the antlers to help shade and give it a little bit more detail. You can also use black body paint or black eyeshadow for this step as well. 
I'm then going to be taking my Made You Look body paint in Bone, and I'm going to be using this to highlight my little antler smile. So I'm going to be using a thin brush and just creating little details along the sides of my antlers before going in to my Made You Look body paint in White, and I'm going to be using this to highlight my nose. I'm then going to be taking my Graftobian Pro Paint in Mantis Green, and I'm going to be using this to start on creating little Christmas lights throughout my antlers. Now, like I said, this was actually a step that I was really debating doing, or if I wanted to just keep it as the antlers, but I feel like adding Christmas lights really does help bring this look together and make it look more festive. And so I personally always use Christmas lights that have like the green roping. So I'm also going to be blending in a little bit of black to this as well, just to help make it look a little bit more realistic. And I'm also going to be using the black body paint to create the little knobs to connect to the lights too. So I'm just going to be scattering this throughout my little light strand. And for my little Christmas lights, I'm going to be start off by taking my Made You Look body paint in Cherry and scattering these around. I tried to kind of follow a pattern, however, I did get myself confused. So after I did red, I'm going to be taking my Made You Look body paint in Sunflower to create the yellow lights, going back into my Graftobian Pro Paint in Mantis Green to create the green lights, and then going into my Made You Look body paint in Cobalt to create the blue lights. Now an important step to help make this look even more realistic is you want to take a white body paint and you want to add a little highlight on each light. This is really going to help make it look a little bit more three dimensional. And then we're going to be going into our Defiant eyeshadow from our Mulan palette and we're going to be using this to help contour our nose. And after that, we're going to be going back into our BH Cosmetics Spotlight Highlight Palette, taking Ethereal, and on our finger, we're going to be using that to create a little glow for our nose and scatter this around the lights as well to make sure that the lights are reflecting some light. I'm even going to be applying that to the inner corner of my eyes on my eyeshadow as well. And I'm going to be going back into my black body paint and I'm actually going to be creating a little bit of that deer illusion by extending the corner of my eyes downward and filling that in with some white eyeshadow. I'm then going to be taking my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and just sweeping this through my upper and my lower eyelashes before we move on to applying our false eyelashes where I'm going to be taking my E&E lashes in the Style Cherry and applying that to our upper lash line. Next, I'm going to be taking my ColourPop Disney Villains Lip Gloss in Shadow Man, and I'm going to be applying this onto my lips, and this is really going to help incorporate with the rest of the look. And then I'm going to be going into my ColourPop Disney Designer Midnight Masquerade Palette, taking Royal Ball, and I'm going to be applying this to the inner corner of my eyes and help give it a little bit more of some glittery glam. And last but not least, I'm going to be going back into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Black Eyeliner, and I'm going to be swiping this through my eyebrows to help create some individual black hairs throughout my eyes and this is really going to help make the look pop a little bit more. And that is my completed Glam Pennywise Rudolph inspired makeup look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below if you'd like to see next. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos. And of course with all that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!